Welcome to Past Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I'm using a free software program called Bulk Rename Utility to rename a bunch of TIFF files that were generically numbered. So in this case, I have two folders, 001 and 002, and in each folder are a bunch of TIFFs that are just um, single page TIFFs and they're numbered with generic numbers. They don't have a prefix and their numbers are, are not padded enough. So I have a folder two. Now in folder two, I just to show you an example of how the software works, I uh, purposely changed the last two to have um, three digits instead of two and then four digits instead of three. So you can see how it works across um, larger numbered tips. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the parent folder that has the subfolders in it. And then I'm going to come down here to uh, area 12 and I'm going to click on subfolders. That way I can see all of the files that I'm about to change. And I have a subdirectory column that tells me which directory each of the files um, are in. The next thing I'm going to do is come to the area 7 and add a prefix. So in this case, I'm just going to use CHP. Now I'm going to go ahead at this point and select the files that I want to rename so that you can see the effects as I'm adding the options. So I'm going to go ahead and select one through the end. So now you can see it's already added a prefix of CHP, but the numbering has stayed the same as it was before. We actually need to add some zero padding. So we're going to come over to area 10 and in the padding we're going to add the number 4 because we want 8 digits in our um, numbering. Now for the starting number, I'm, I'm going uh, backwards here, but uh, for the starting number we don't need it to number anything because we're okay with the numbering that it already has so we're going to change that to 0. And we're also going to change the increments to zero because, again, we this section is for when you actually have to add Bates numbering. And we're okay with the numbering itself, um, you know, starting at one. We just need to add the padding. Now, this is where you add where the padding is going to go. Um, so right now we're at position zero. And right now I'm going to keep clicking this to get it to three. And now you can see that it's adding the zero padding after the prefix. Okay, so these are all the steps. Now the numbers look the way I want. I have eight digits in my numbering. And you can see that for thir from 13 to 114 to 1115, it's working correctly with the zero padding. And the next step and the last step is to just click rename. It gives you a warning that it's about to do you know the files and gives you a count. And then over here I wanted to show you the folder that has the different numbering to show you that it worked correctly. So this is the end result. It renamed the files and the padding is working correctly. Okay, uh, I will, I plan to create another tutorial on um, how to actually number the documents, but I wanted to start with this for now. Okay, I hope you put this to good use. Thanks.